Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick recap on a basic skill which is how to grab colours from an image to turn into swatches as a colour group within Illustrator and then I have a following technique following on from that using colour themes in InDesign. So just a couple of quick things um, and referencing kind of historical images which I thought was a nice tie-in. So I've just brought in this image here. This is an image done by the famous designer Milton Glasser of Bob Dylan. Uh, and I've brought that into my document and I've just created some circles down the side here. You could use any shape. Um, and I, what I do is I select one of those and I go to my eyedropper and I choose which color from the image I would like. And something really handy you can toggle between your selection tool and the eyedropper by hitting command on your Mac keyboard or, you know, whatever you're on. And I can just toggle between those and select the colors that I would like to use as part of the color palette. Now we have them selected. I will go and select them all and I can go over here to add new color group. And you'll see here I can pop in a name. I'll call this Dylan and hit OK. And you'll notice over in my swatches panel, I now have a color group with those colors that I have selected from the original image. Now I've also actually gone through and I've deleted all the color swatches that I don't want. So if I wanted to now save this color group. I could go through, through the hamburger menu and save the swatch library. Um, I'm not going to show that in this tutorial because it's just short and sweet, but uh, let me know if you would like to know how to do that. Uh, you can also start doing things like saving into your swatch libraries. What I'm going to do now is flip over into InDesign where I have the same image that I have selected. Uh, so I have my image and I'm going over here. So the eyedropper within InDesign has this other kind of eyedropper called Color Theme Tool. If I select that and I go to my image and click on an image, and this could be any image. It might be you're wanting to get some color inspiration from images that you're bringing into a document. You'll notice this bar will come up and it has some different options that are selected from that image you've brought in. Now there's some challenges with it. Um, you don't have as much control over which, Im um, which color is selected. However, it's a really, really quick way of grabbing colors. So you'll notice along this bar as well, I've got a couple of options here. I can add the colors to my swatches. So I've just selected that or I can add them to my CC library. So I'll just do that for the sake of it. And you can rename that if you want. So I might say this is Dylan. Um, and same in here, colorful themes, Dylan. And uh, then you can start applying it to different elements within your InDesign document. So swatches are a really powerful tool in both InDesign and Illustrator, and it can be really great to get inspiration from uh, actual images, historical images or photography that you really like or other um, elements where you've grabbed some colors. Uh, and there's two different ways there of grabbing some color themes and using them in your program.